your daily election 2023 update. This is Election Fix, powered by Newstalk ZB. Kia ora, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is Election Fix for Friday, the 22nd of September. Today, political editor Jason Walls has been with Chris Luxon during the National Party leaders' walkabout on Auckland's waterfront. And Chief Political Reporter Aaron Darman continues his road trip with Chris Hipkins, this time exploring Manawatu and the Wairarapa. Election Fix Headlines. National is vowing to keep free school lunches. It comes after Labour has confirmed it will continue to fund the programme at its current settings if it's re-elected. Now all parties except ACT back it. National leader Chris Luxon says the programme will be a priority. But we are also concerned about waste and efficiency and effectiveness of the programme and we'll be wanting to look at that like we want to look at all programmes. The ACT Party is pledging to reform the Retirement Commission under its policy for seniors. It wants the Commission focused on retirement villages and ageing in place, while regulatory framework would be designed to enable individualised funding of in-home care. David Seymour says the Commission achieves very little for the taxpayer funding it gets and needs to be focused. Chris Hipkins is reminiscing on an iconic Wellington cafe which is up for sale. The Green Parrot has an asking price of $200,000. The establishment's been a favourite for politicians, with Winston Peters a self-confessed regular since the 70s. Chris Hipkins was asked if he'd visited. Uh, in my misspent youth, maybe once or twice. <laughs> Tell us more. No. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. Election Fix. Everything you need to know from the campaign trail. News Talk ZB. Now to our reporters on the campaign trail. Our political editor, Jason Walls, is with us. Jason, Luxon's been out exploring Auckland's waterfront today. Did he come across anyone interesting? (laughs) That he did. Before he really got underway, we saw a a lime green blur on a lime scooter with a pair of snakeskin boots driving past saying, hello. And as we looked up, Paula Bennett had just gone past. So it was a fun way to start. And a few minutes later, when he was perusing the waterfront bars, he was waving to a group of lads. And one of them, he seemed to know a little bit better. And we turned around, it was Judith Collins' husband. So there was a few familiar faces, but it was quite interesting. He was going through all the bars and all the restaurants, really, having a nosy and talking to everyone. And at one point, he crashed um, a group of women who, one of them, were having a 50th birthday party lunch. And they were all on the rosés. And he promised that um, if they voted for him, he would jump out of a cake. And they all laughed while one of them kept insisting that they all get shots together. But, of course, Chris Luxon didn't. But, you know, it was only about a about a, a 30, 45-minute walk around in Auckland's viaduct. But it, he seemed energized the people that he was talking to were very keen for a new government and were very supportive of him on the on the road so yeah i mean i think the people that were just trying to have their lunch were a bit annoyed with the pack of or the horde should i say of media coming through with microphones and cameras but good photos and good pictures for him i'd say but jason did he announce any policy today not really. I mean, they announced something called a their economic plan with 100 of policies, but they're all things that we've heard before. They just kind of package them up together, and it's just really the opening salvo before their fiscal plan comes out next week, which is how they're going to cost everything. There was a little bit of argy-bargy over um, their first quote-unquote fact that they had in their fact sheet, which was the Reserve Bank um, is forecasting that we're already in a recession, which raised a few eyebrows because just uh, yesterday, Stats New Zealand said that we are not, in fact, in a recession and we in fact never were because the economic data had been revised so there was a bit of back and forth over there but then that's just sticking to their guns on that one saying hey the reserve bank still thinks it may happen so this is what our position is thanks jason election fix and news talk zb's chief political reporter aaron darman is with us Aaron, Chris Hipkins has been exploring the Manawatu and Wairarapa. What's he been up to? He has, Raylene. From the construction site to the kitchen, Hipkins has finally wrapped up now that roadie across the week down the North Island. And it's always funny seeing his big silver Mercedes van whisking through the rural countryside. So another day of grins and spins for him. And he checked out a Kainga Order development in Asterton. He also donned a hard hat on the replacement Manawatu Gorge Road and a major slip of course there five years ago left State Highway 3 through the gorge in Puddle. The new route now set for completion in 2025. So all of us, Chris Hipkins and reporters alike, we piled into vans and utes to reach the site. We were dressed in hard hats, glasses and high vis and I would say well, Raylene, we're all quite fetching in that get up. 
Well, let us be the judge. Um, so anyway, he got busy in the kitchen today again. What was on the menu? He did, he did. So Labour today promised to basically continue those free lunches for schools and students facing socio-economic challenges. And so that promise, of course, if his party is re-elected, to mark that, he turned up at the post office hotel in Pahiatua, where he did get in the kitchen. He kitted up in a green apron. He made some burgers. He layered on the mayo, the patties, the cheese, the lettuce, the carrots, and then packed all the lunches and then popped the little sticker on top, which was to give the students an indication that that lunch had been made by the PM. Oh, that is very exciting. Thank you, Aaron. Drive safe. Election Fix, powered by Newstalk ZB. And that is Election Fix for Friday, the 22nd of September. You can join us again on Monday to get the latest update on everything from the campaign trail from the Newstalk ZB newsroom. In the meantime, you can head to newstalkzb.co.nz forward slash election 2023 for all your political news and opinion. I'm Raylene Ramsey. We'll catch you again on Monday.